and watch. You will feel better. Mm -hmm. Things will go smoother. I'll say again, take the lesson from Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. when, when I used to stay on the, uh, 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 the northwest side, the Chick-fil-A on the corner of Eldridge in 1960, mm -hmm. that man used to let a church have church in Chick-fil-A on mm -hmm. Sunday. He opened it up where a ministry can have church on Sunday at his building. Because he's a giver. Mm -hmm. And when you become a giver, you learn to become a liver. Mm -hmm. You don't worry about finances because they'll chase you down, they'll track you. Mm -hmm. They'll attach yourself to you because you work in the principle. He said, I'll open the windows of heaven. It pour you out a blessing. All it takes is a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. He said, work six years. The seven year take off. Why? I'm going to give you enough in six years mm -hmm. that'll cover that seven one that you're resting. Even the Lord told us uh, in Deuteronomy, you go back and search the scripture. I don't have it right now, but when you get married, mm -hmm. you're supposed to take a whole year off from work laboring and give yourself wholly to your mate. Because y'all have to have time to learn one another. We don't take time no more. We don't take time to study. We don't take time to learn. We don't take time. And so this is why mm -hmm. America is in the shape that it's in. Yes. Because we don't honor God. We done fell into greed. And the Lord told us, for the love of money, mm -hmm. going to become the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. Sunrise, we got to go back to the principles of God. We have to go back to honoring God. Amen. We're going to have to put him first in all things, not something. And he promised that he would give us a way of escape. He will heal our body. He'll make us so prosperous. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't got to worry about that day that you did labor. That's covered in him. Amen. If we learn to keep the Sabbath holy. Amen. Father, I have given the word. I want you to go into every home. First of all, Father, we repent. For not always keeping the Sabbath holy. We repent, Lord, for not always working the principles of God. But Lord, we ask you to forgive us. Lord, we want you to bless our household, bless our children, up to the third and fourth generation. Have mercy upon us. Amen. God, you say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven yes. and your righteousness. And you will give us the things. As long as we put you first. Amen. Whether it be in our business. In our marriages. In our homes. In our relationships. Mm -hmm. Lord we want to put you first. In the mighty name of Jesus. And then God we actually heal our bodies. Make us whole God. Make us prosper. You told us we will become lenders. Yes. And not borrowers. We will become the head and not the tail. Why? Because we work your principles. Yes, God. You said those that be obedient will eat the good of the land. Yes. And Lord, we repent. We hadn't always done our best to keep your principles. But this morning, we <laughs> repent before you. And God, we're going to honor you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for restoring us yes, God. to the place that you desire for us to be in. Yes, God. I pray for everybody on this uh, line tonight. Yes. I pray, God, that you bless their homes. Bless everything they put their hands in. Yes, God. You told us whatsoever we do it, we'll prosper. Yes, God. But you told us the ungodly are not so. 
So there's a difference between holy and unholy. Yeah. Lord, help us hold up the standard that you set. Yes, Lord. Don't let us veer away from the standard that you set. Lord, even our forefathers respected you. God, let us honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Father, Lord. I thank you and I praise you. This is our prayer. In thy son Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I pray.